Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have, which is 9 raised to pi x plus 9 raised to pi x equals to 120. This here we factor 9 raised to pi x out. And we have 9 raised to pi x into brackets. 1 plus 1 left here equals to 120 here. At this here we have 9 raised to pi x times 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals to 120 from here the next step we divide both side by 2 divide this side by 2 divide this side by 2 here to cancel each other and we have 9 raised to power hex equals to 120 over 2 that is we can write it as 9 raised to power hex equals to 120 can be written as 2 times 60 then over 2 that is to cancel each other and we have 9 raised to the power hex equals to 60 here. The next step, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 9 raised to the power hex equals to log 60 from here. That is, here we apply the power of log logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, yeah, this becomes x log 9 equals to log 60. Then, next step we divide both sides by log 9. Divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. At this year, we have log 9 cancelled each other. Then, this becomes x equals to log 60 over log 9. Then, Next step here, we can express 60 as 3 times 20. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 9. That is, this follows the law of logarithm when we have log a times b, which can be written as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 9. Then, next step is we separate this into two fractions. So this we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9. Then also, from what we have here, 20 can be expressed as 4 times 5. Then, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Then, this here follows the law of logarithm. We have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. Then also, we separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. Then, next step here 9 can be expressed as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared, and also 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. Then, what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. Then, next step here, we apply the power of logarithm. As this 3 comes here, 2 comes here, also here, and from here, and also here, and we have x equals to log. 3 over 2 log 3 
plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. That is here we have log 3 cancel each other. This becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus also 2 cancel each other here. We have log 2 over log 3 then plus here yeah, also we have 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3 and here yeah, we apply change of this and we have log a over log b which can be expressed as log a to base b that is what we have here becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 is 3 then here yeah, we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the SCM as 2 this becomes 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 here yeah? then plus log 5 base 3 that is the value of x here we have x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 then let's check here if this satisfy this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. That is, what we have here becomes. 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 plus also 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 120 on this side that is here yeah, we have same we added together same thing added together when we have a plus a we can write this as 2 times a that is here we have 2 times 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 120 on this side that is here we have 2 times 9 can be written as 3 square, which is raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Is it equals to 120 on this side? Then here, this power multiplies. So here, comes with each other. We have 2 times 3 raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 with 3 is equals to 120 on this side that is we apply the law of indices this becomes 2 times 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 120 here that is we have 2 times 3 raised to the power 1, that's 3 times. We reverse this 2 from power log. We have 3 raised to the power log 2 square, which is 4, base 3. Then 3 raised to the power log 5, base 3. Is it equals to 120 on this side? Then 2 times 3, that's 6. Then times this follows. When we have a raised to the power log b to base a, the same thing as b. At this year, we have 4. 10 times 5. This is equals to 120 on this side. That is, we have 6 times 4, that's 24 times 5, that's 120. This is equals to, which is equals to 120. Yeah. Left hand side now equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 
1 plus 2 log 2 means 3 plus log 5 means 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video and give it a comment see you next class then. bye for now